Snuggle your little swimmers in one of these darling terry cloth robes. This pool accessory is kind of refashioned from a bath towel. Stephanie Miller has done the sewing magic for us here. It's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So truly, this was gifted to me three years ago at my very first baby shower. And my almost three-year-old daughter, Emmy, still likes to think yeah. she can fit into that newborn towel. But, but I it's think little. It's tiny. It's yeah. tiny. But it's such a handy, I think, reach for for pool moms in the summer season. You've done some refashions though that make that old idea of the towel to pool robe a little more updated and a little more easy to use. Yeah, because that little one doesn't fit over floaters. It doesn't fit over your five or six year old anymore. Uh -huh. And I wanted something that could fit over my bigger kids, be comfortable for them to wear and something that's not constantly falling off. Like they can walk around and eat food right. in these warmer outfits than just a swim cover up. I'm noticing a zipper instead of a tie. That's really good for shivering kind of pool wet hands and, and fingers. Don't you always lose the tie? That's <laughs> true. It's true. <laughs> no more searching for a tie when you're trying to get the swim, all the swimwear right. together to go to the pool. And it looks like you've had some fun with the fashion of it. I mean, you've added some cool accessories and the towels themselves, the material themselves is really, it's really interesting and fun. Yeah, I just started with three white towels and I wanted to push my creativity to make this fun for me uh -huh. to try and make my own patterns because you can do the same thing by going to the store and buying a towel that already has a pattern that looks great. Okay. I wanted to make it my own. Hold on, you made those patterns? Yeah, I made all those patterns. I started with three white towels. You're kidding me. So dyed you dyed them all. Oh, you dyed yeah, them. Yeah, and painted. So there's two options. You can you can dye with this Ritz dye super easy. You get extra credit creative so points. I dyed that pink one okay. and then this is like my favorite thing. It's what a textile this? medium. Okay. You mix two parts acrylic paint to one part textile medium. Okay. And you can paint on clothes with acrylic paint. Hold on. You Super can, cheap to do. You mix this with your existing craft paint. Yes. And it becomes fabric paint. Yes. I've never Because heard of fabric this. paint will just like flake off and get right. wrecked. Right. Right. But this you can paint on, let it dry, iron it to like heat set it, and then wash it and it's Perfect. I was and so that's these leaves are just painted on with a brush. Oh my goodness. Really quickly painted on because I wanted that quick look. How did you get the ombre towel that we're looking at? Um, I made like a blue dye bath, which is just salt and water with the dye. Uh huh. And it's hot water. And I just dipped it. Oh my goodness. So you dip it the first time to the level that you want the lightest color, and uh -huh. you just come up and you dip it a little bit. It's and the perfect Higher and it's higher. The perfect fade. Yeah, it's super easy. Just keep dipping. And coming up higher. <laughs> You've got the motion down. <laughs> She's doing the motion here in studio over and over. We've got it. We've yeah, got it. Super easy to do that, actually. Okay. So, All right. So, what size of bath towel are we starting with? This is just a standard bath towel, like a bathroom bath towel. And okay. I got these at Walmart for $3. Three bucks. $3 for the bath towel. And then for a hood is $3 for the hand towel that's matching. And the hand towel becomes the hood. Hand towel becomes the hood. And just to emphasize something you said, clarify, for people who might not be as creatively talented as you are with the dye and the painting, you can just get a colored towel? Yes. A pattern towel? You can do what I'm gonna show you next with okay. a pattern towel. It takes me five minutes to make these, super easy. I've made white ones like this for my bathroom because when I get the kids out of the bath, I want a white one that looks good in my bathroom. And that's just a towel with a hood. Yep, so we're gonna make this right now. Okay. So let me show it on. Are, are we gonna make it or are you gonna make See it? See this? Because I don't know how much help. Good, look Wrap at you. Wrap it around the kids. Plenty I can make one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Proofs in the picture. Yeah, so what you start with is a hand towel. Okay. And you fold it in half. Got it. Comes like this, right? Yes. Um, and then I just take a ruler and I measure. I measure from the edge mm -hmm. about 11 and a half inches. And I take, there's a chalk, piece of chalk in here. Right here? Yeah, let me take this. Okay. And I just draw a line on it. And then I go the other direction and I draw a line. You weren't kidding with the five minutes. You're snappy. You've got this down. And then you don't want the point at the top, especially with the white towel. Okay. You're going right. to take a bowl, flip it over. Line it up with these lines and you're gonna curve that edge. So you get it's a, a nice perfect soft edge. Wrap around the head. This is just a piece of chalk. You can use chalk from outside. Okay. It washes off nicely. Okay. And then you cut that shape out. So I have one right here already cut out. Of course you do. So this is just the shape cut out. Got it. So there's the curve that you were talking about. There's the about, curve. Right. And it's pinned. And this is gonna become the front where the face comes out, and then this is gonna be attached. And you just sew along this line mm -hmm, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, and I guess on the bath towel, the edges are already finished. For already you, finished. That's right? why it's so fast. Nice. Yeah. And th so this one I sewed with uh, black um, string, so you can see it better. Okay. But that's sewn up, and that can right. 
fit right over the head. <laughs> you're the perfect yeah. model. Good okay. sport too. So you're gonna turn it inside out. Okay. And then you're just gonna take your big towel. I buried that, there you go. Take this big towel, mm -hmm. fold it in half. Mm -hmm. Like so, just so that you're finding the halfway point. Okay. And then you take this and you attach it right there. So you're gonna make sure that uh, this is outward when you attach. Gotcha. Does that make sense yes, right there? Yes, yes, yes. And then pin this on. And I just open up, because this is a lot of material, uh -huh. I just open up this seam right here. Uh huh. And pin down this center. And I'll show you. I'm gonna just make one right now. This is where I'd have to call a friend like you with a sewing machine. It's a machine, straight stitch. Okay. You just pull out this other I mean, end. It sounds simple enough in theory, but for those of us who don't I straight know. stitch very often, that's a everyone tap. says it's really hard. Like I get a comments a lot. Like I can't even sew a straight line. Well, don't look at your needle when you sew. Oh. Look at the side of the foot. Okay. I never look at my needle that's going up and down. You uh -huh. can't get a straight line looking at that. Look at the, the little foot on the See, side. Why didn't my seventh grade home that ec teacher sense? teach me that? Yeah, it might my have improved first my few, grade. <laughs> my first few outfits did not look okay. very good. And then you just take it on your machine. Uh huh. Line it up with the edge of that foot, like I said. And just zip it along. Oh, my needle's down. I'm like, what is going on? Well, I'm glad you didn't ask me. Okay. And then we're gonna just sew this up really fast. Okay, and you can probably have some fun too with the colored threads. We saw the pom poms, the rick rack, the accessories. Are and you fun can do well. a different colored hand towel than towel if you wanted to like mix do, it up. Yeah, mix up the style of it. Well, I love the idea too of the zipper replacing the wrap like we talked about and just the fun designs and possibilities. And zippers are super easy to add to. These, I'm gonna have on my um, blog tutorials of how to make each of these styles too. Okay. But right here in just a few seconds, I can have this hand towel done and this is perfect for my indoor bathroom for when I'm getting all my kids out of their Absolutely. bath. Absolutely, bath time becomes a breeze and you're just draping this towel over their cute little and right there, freshly we're washed heads. Nice, good job, I feel yeah. like applauding. That was so yeah. good, that was so great. Super okay, easy the tutorial. super good looking in your bathroom. Love it, up. clean, yeah, right? Very clean. The tutorial's on your website, how can we access that? It's mothermake.com. Okay, and we'll link you over from our website to make it simple to connect and you have so many great projects there, right? Yeah, yeah. Resourceful projects that will allow you to sew yourself into a fashion frenzy in the best of ways. Thank you so much. It's Thank great you. to have you.